The new National Children's Hospital up at the St James's site in Dublin 8 is the country's largest capital infrastructure project in healthcare. It was first announced in 1993 and yesterday Leo Faradkar said that an extra 512 million euro is being added to the, this project and the cost of it, which is going to rise the cost to 2.24 billion euro. Fradkar himself said that the maximum allocated is going to be 2.2 billion. This comes on the back of 2015 when it was first announced that it will cost 650 million when the contract was won by the multinational construction business BAM, who stated their primary focus was on the timely delivery of the National Children's Hospital. So here we are in 2024 and the costs have increased by nearly 400%. Part of this contract was opening two speci specialist units in an urgent care unit in Tala and James Connolly out in Blanchardstown. But this hospital will have up to 6,000 rooms, 60 critical care beds, 93 day beds and 670 beds in total that will come in at the cost of 2.24 billion euro. And if you consider back in 2017, the estimated the costs have increased to 983 million. Then in 2023, they said it was 1.73 billion. And then yesterday's announcement, another 512 million. And still not one patient has been seen in this hospital. There's so many children are waiting on emergency services. We've seen the fiasco with the scoliosis treatments and the horrific treatment of children's healthcare in Irish society. But again, it's demonstrated as well, the money that's in this. Hospitals in other parts of the world, for instance, Helsinki in Finland, a 520 bed hospital costs less than 200 million euro. A 250 bed hospital in Hamburg cost less than 75 million euro. The Petronas Tower and the Burj Khalifa come in at far less than the world's most expensive hospital. This has been plagued with controversy from the start of this project. Many people spoke about the chaotic traffic it would cause in this region. Many people had common sense approaches, such as putting the hospital, for instance, on the M50 out around Blanchardstown, which would, people would be able to access from all parts of the country and Dublin also. And even within the project itself, the National Paediatric Hospital Development Board, their chair has quit four times. BAM, the contractor, has sued this board for disputes with, a, with up to 2,400 claims raised by BAM that were due to cost a total of up to 769 million euro. But there are a lot of serious questions to ask about this fiasco from a practical standpoint and from a public account standpoint. Where was the health committee in response to this? Where was the minister for health? in addressing this disaster. Where was the Public Accounts Committee? Now, what sanctions were imposed on these big multinational construction companies and uh, many others who were involved in this fiasco, the Minister for Health and obviously the Health Departments as well? And where is the Controller and Auditor General who's supposed to audit the state accounts year by year to look for accountability? and to monitor the usage of our public money. But again, it's public money, and this is how it's used by the political establishment in Ireland, to profit big businesses, to work at the behest of the super rich, super wealthy, and the multinational corporations, and ordinary peoples are the ones that suffer. Michal Martin spoke and said that lessons will be learned, typical, and Pascal Donoghue said, a lot of state projects come in line with expenditure projected. <laughs> so this is the usual nonsense we've come to expect in Ireland, where a fiasco occurs, but a fiasco is, is, occurs because it profits their friends. It profits the wealthy, it profits the developers, and the ordinary people are left to carry the can. Because it is vitally important we need a children's hospital. But there are serious concerns with this and there has to be accountability because we've had enough in Ireland 
of the same nod and wink attitude. Once it's public money, there's no oversight, but it asks serious, serious questions of our processes in Ireland in the context of oversight and scrutiny and audit, auditing of our public finances. And people must be held to account over this. But again, as I've said, the political class will cover it up and say lessons learned, move on and hold a grand opening and be all clapping each other in the back while it's the public that will carry the can for this for years to come. So thanks for supporting my videos. Please share them. And uh, thanks for supporting me on various channels such as YouTube, Facebook as well. So from here, take care. See you all soon. Bye bye.